Wales, 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 Wales. You guys have had a fantastic tournament of fantastic girls, but you just couldn't get to that final. You just couldn't grasp that final, but you just had a great tournament anyway. What is up, guys? It's Natural here, and welcome back to the semi final of the European Championships. 2016 Portugal versus Wales where let's just say it wasn't a great game but but it's been a game where you could say it's like a chess board game it's like watching a game of chess even though I don't play chess let me face it it's like watching the boxing match both teams trying to feel each other out trying to feel that fatal punch but the soccer punch was Ronaldo anyway let's talk about what happened the game. Um, Wales had some couple of changes to make to the team. Um, um, Aaron Ramsey, their creative player, was suspended, so they brought in Leicester's winning title player in King. He's not the same as um, Aaron Ramsey. Did play a lot of games for Leicester last, se last season, but he's a good player anyway. Um, as for uh, not, as for not Ronaldo, as for Portugal, I think. They were unchanged from the game, the team that played against Poland. I don't know when you look into that. Um, but yeah, um, Wales and Portugal, you know, how's the changes? The first, the first couple of minutes of the game, Wales looked a bit nervous. You know, they weren't passing the ball as frequently as they were against Belgium. You know, they weren't getting their... I mean, you could say because Ramsey wasn't playing, but... Yeah, you should say other players should step up for me, but... You know, Portugal in the first couple of minutes, they had well, the game in the first couple of minutes was per. You know, Portugal had a penalty shout that could have been a penalty, but then you can you see, you know, it, it, this is the reason why it's not a penalty because Italy have been doing that all the tournament, and Italy have been doing that in the Serie A, and all, everybody's been doing that. I've seen Skirtle do that many a time for Liverpool, and many a time. Listen, 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 you know what Skirtle did in the first game against Wales? Elbow in the face, and then you have a penalty. For me, that wasn't a penalty. So, anyway, um, that's why um, first you could say what penalty not. Then you know uh, Gareth Bale had a chance from twenty something yards out, decent save the goalkeeper. And that's pretty much it. There wasn't really anything else to say in the first half. It was a very average, dull, boring, whatever you want to call it, first half. And the second half started. Portugal came out with more. Attacking, I thought I said they had to go more attacking because literally they've done nothing in this Euro so far. They came out more attacking in a couple minutes. They got a corner, phenomenal cross from the Portuguese player. What well, and this header from Ronaldo is absolutely world class. And you could say whatever you want to call it, the leap he does is ridiculous. I mean, Chester, you know, didn't even know he was. He didn't know where he was, Chester. He was looking left, he was looking right, he was looking up, he was looking down. He didn't know where Chester, he didn't know where Ronaldo was. Ronaldo just puts his head on it, 1-0, and then you think, yeah, I don't see any way back for uh, Wales, but they just have to keep calm, keep their heads calm. And they didn't. A couple minutes later, Ronaldo again had a chance, miskewed it, miskicked it, and now he makes it two now, and then you think it has to be game over because there's no way back for Wales now. And then you know had a good, the game died out after that. A um, couple of tackles, couple of yellow cards, and you know Gareth Bale tried to score a worldy goal from sorry not goalkeeper had it covered. You could say had it covered, but he tries to, he saves it, but he didn't save it well. It went for a corner, and that's it. And um, as my and you know that's. But now I then think we're now had another chance run the goalkeeper and hit the side netting, and that's it. Wales are out of the Euros. They've been remarkable, even though they got beat tonight against a very poor Portugal team. I know there's respect to Portugal, my Portuguese fans out there. Your team have not been good enough in this tournament because uh, you, uh, you watch them against Iceland, they couldn't beat Iceland. You watch them against Austria. They couldn't beat Austria, and you watch them against Hungary. They couldn't beat Hungary. They draw three bloody games in the group stages. Then they play Croatia, and then you think, oh, they don't beat Croatia. The Croatia beat Spain for goodness' sake, and then they beat Croatia next time. Then they play Poland in penalties, 
and they only know that one nail down, and then they'd be, then they'd be um, with us tonight. So when you have to give credit to Portugal, I mean, they've now been to a final in 20, this final in 2016, they were in the semi finals in 2012, knocked out and penalties to events of winners Spain, they were in the 2006 semi finals, knocked out by, by, Port, by France, and they were in the final in 04. This team knows how to win. I don't know how to get to finals and semi-finals of major tournaments. They have experience in that team with Ronaldo, with Nani, with Charisma, with um, uh, Cavallo and so many others. Pep and so many others. They may have got some very young kids like, like Sanchez and a couple of other players. But they have a winning mentality. They may not want to turn but they have that, they have that sort of final mentality of how to get into major tournaments in semi-finals and finals that I don't think Wales have. Not so respect to Wales, they, this is the first they've made for, they qualified for a major tournament in, I don't know, in donkey's years, in 50, 50 years, something like that. And for me, that's the difference between teams, I, I, I know this respect to Portugal, a decent Portuguese side to a, a Wales side who've never made a major tournament. And this, and that's no question to Wales, Wales are on the brink. Wales are going to be something big in this year. Credits are to Portugal by the way, they, you know, credits to NBA in the final, they are going to be playing out of France or Germany. As for Wales, commiserations to Jens, even though I thought you'd have an amazing tournament, even getting to the semi-finals against, I wouldn't have thought the semi-final, when you pick a semi-final, I didn't think it would be between Wales and Portugal, that's no respect to those two teams, I just didn't see it. But I gotta give credit to Wales. This Welsh team has a team spirit. It has a bond. It has. It, I, I don't know what it is, but the, the people say, oh, it's you have to give credit to one man, and that's Gary Speed. This, Gary Speed has transformed this Welsh team. Back in 2010, this team wasn't a team. It was just, what is it? It, it was like, what is it? He came in, changed the team, brought in the likes of Aaron Ramsey, who was 20. He brought in kids who have not become kids now and become leaders and men. That's what Gary Speed did before, you know, his tragedy passing away. And, yeah, um, and, and Chris Coleman came in and just pretty much took the reins that Gary Speed did. And now this is where he is today. No thanks to Gary Speed, who's reason why we are in a semi-final of a major tournament. Do you mean is an achievement in itself. To even get to even get Wales into a major a major term is an achievement. To even get into the uh, the group stages is a bigger achievement. To get them into the semi finals, that is legendary achievement. I mean I just have to get credit to Wales. I think the Wales fans have been absolutely incredible. They have shown more passion and more leadership than any other fans apart from the Irish <laughs> in this tournament. And no respect to Iceland or any other team Net fans, they've been amazing as well. But um, yeah, um, what else do you really say? Really, um, yeah, Wales, commiserations again. You've been amazing. Your, uh, your, the, the future looks bright for Welsh football because people keep saying, "Oh well, are Wales a footballing country? Are they really?" Well, I think they are because they have Swansea in the Premier League. And it's got good players. Cardiff, who used to be in the Premier League but now in the Championship, even though they're decent side. You know, there's. They, this is a bright, bright future for Welsh football. They've got so many kids, they've got so many good, very good, talented players. And they've got so many talented players coming in the academies. So this is a big, big, big opportunity for Welsh football. I mean, right now they're going to be in the... Um, don't know where they're going to be in the rankings, but they're going to be up there in the top five, top six at least. Even though I don't give a damn about the FIFA rankings, because I think it's absolutely BS. Because literally it just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, um, Elian, congratulations to Portugal on qualifying, and congratulations to Wales. But Wales, you enjoy having, you have had, you've pretty much been an inspiration to every single nation, to every single team in this tournament. Congratulations, but congratulations, but you absolutely deserve it. I bow down to you, Welsh. You've been an absolute revelation. So, so yeah, Wales, congratulations to Portugal. Now we move on to who will play Portugal in the final between France and Germany. Yeah, I haven't got a clue. I mean, I've been I've been trying to figure this out all day, all day, and I still don't know who's going to go through. Um, 
Because Germany, I don't know what it is with this nation, they just know how to win. I, I don't know what it is, it could be a penalty, it could be a fluky goal or something, they just don't know how to win. And... I've, but France, they're a host nation, I don't know, I've, I said France to win this tournament from day one, and I still stand by that, so I still think France will beat Germany, and will play Portugal, and beat Portugal. That's my opinion, means nothing to anyone else. Hey, you want to put your opinions down, see if you, you guys think you can win this thing. I haven't got a clue, but I say I do have a clue, it's going to be in France, I'm talking BS again. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Congratulations yet again to Portugal. Wales, you've made a lot of friends in this tournament, and you guys, and your, your team, your whole entire nation should be proud to be Welsh. Proud to be, and actually proud to just be, you know, whatever, I don't know, I'm just blabbering on a bit rubbish. Anyway, um, please like, subscribe, The Natural is a Pyatt, and uh, from the corner, a um, fantastic hair from Papa. He makes it 2 no, the dab from Papa again. I missed that. <laughs> and yeah, and then the rest of the goals just flew in. The third goal 